Just five grand. That'll get us out of town. We can sell the kid to somebody else. Baby. I don't think. What are you doing? Paul can't be here with us. What if the guy sees him? He's not coming back. Yes, he is. He wants the rest of the money. He just went to get Eliza. He knew something was up. He took the money and he ran. No. No. What happened? Where's that couple? They're gone. They're gonna buy our baby. I should have called the cops. What what what's going on? What happened? Some guy wanted money in exchange for the baby. He told us to wait here. How long ago did he leave? Half an hour. Why didn't you follow him? He would have gone after him, but I wouldn't let him. It was all my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> well, maybe Josie knows something. Where's Josie? She's gone. You know, you two should be back at the police station looking at mug shots, not driving around. A few extra minutes won't make any difference. So, this is where they stole the car, huh? Which means they gotta live in this neighborhood. Yeah, well, the cops have already canvassed this neighborhood. What, what makes you think that you're gonna find something that they missed? They got 5000 in cash and a baby that they want to get rid of, so they're gonna try to be leaving town. They probably have to do some things first. What? Pack, maybe brag to a few friends. You really think Josie's gonna answer? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she saw something. Yeah, maybe she saw a chance to run and took him. No, she wouldn't do that. I don't trust her. Look, she didn't do anything wrong. I forced her to come. Okay, stop! Me. I don't care about Josie. I care about finding Eliza. And I don't see how coming back here is gonna help. Some people won't talk to cops, but they'll talk to a mother who's looking for a kid. Yeah, they might talk to a couple of guys who are willing to throw some money at him. Yeah, that's right. We show a picture of Eliza and we offer money for information. Okay, so where do we start? Right here. Street by street. Okay, whoa, whoa. Give me a minute. We're exhausted. Why don't we get you back to the... I am not going anywhere until I find Eliza. How is it possible that no one saw her? You know what? This is a huge waste of time. You two, please, just go back to the police station, look at mugshots. I'll keep checking things out around here. If you find the baby, what then? What are you going to do? What does that mean? What? Are you, what, what? what are you talking you about? You're going to tell me you're going to run? You go to hell. Okay, look. We'll give it 15 more minutes, okay? And then we'll go to the police station. Come on, let's go. Come on. What's that? It's Joseph's. Yeah, it is. It's not a coincidence. Where is she? Whoa, 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 quiet. I hear something. It's New York. It's noisy. I don't hear anything. Wait, wait. It's, it's Eliza. She's crying. Where's that coming from? There, she's in there. We gotta get in there. Come on, what are we waiting for? Eliza is in there. I hold heard on, her. Hold on, We can't just knock on the door. Yeah, we can't. We knock on the door. We stand up to the side. They come out. We jump on them. Let's do it. bumps and bruises. I followed that guy from the park and ended up locked in the basement with the baby. Get up. Get up. Thanks for getting here so fast. Glad you got your great vaccine. It's over. It's 
Oh, I don't think so. Paul Ryan, you're under arrest for kidnapping. Come on, you, this is what you want. You want this? She's the accomplice? Want her? No, she's the victim. I, I, I forced her to help me. Let her go. She helped us find her baby. She kept her safe. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You good with this? Yeah. Uh, Josie. Thank you. Will you be okay? Don't, don't worry about me. Take your baby home. <laughs>